This show brought to you by EcoTrust Food and Farms. When I was uh, four or five, um, this was before I was baptized, I wanted to be a sister because I thought they did good things. I fell in love with the community. It, it is a 1500 year tradition. We follow the rule of St. Benedict. Uh, it's a monastic community and that means that we come together five to seven times a day for prayer. Uh, so prayer and reading and work all need to be balanced. Um, and I really liked that. The St. Joseph Shelter, which is our um, shelter for, the, for homeless families, plus two dorms for migrant farm workers, that was the original whole thing, how this started. But we really needed to find other sources of income. And we had two lovely volunteers who came over and lived with us for about six months and worked primarily at the shelter. And Virginia decided that she had a really good mustard recipe that was her mother's. And she thought we could make money on it. So, Sweet Hot Benny's Mustard, that was the very first. And people told us we had a really good product. About two and a half years ago, our Priorus, uh, who was Sister Dorothy Jean at the time, asked if Steve and I thought we could get a business going. You know, is there any way we could make something happen with this? In our, in our rule, uh, St. Benedict's rule, it, it says, begin all good works in prayer. And so the first thing we did actually was to, uh, Sister Jo Morton wrote a prayer for the mustard business. And the prayer cards went out, the sisters all have them, they were at the market. I'm sure that has a lot to do with our success. We worked out the, um, the recipe so that we could have them made in a larger and larger capacity. And we changed our name to Monastery Mustard. And we started out, our first adventure was Beaverton Farmer's Market. And it was so successful. When we're going to make it, we have a sister that will take the ingredients that are in every one of them. She'll get those ready the night before. So when we get up at 4.30, we can come in, just dump in the two bowls and then add whatever flavor we're going to make. Like this morning, we made dill mustard and then we have another ingredient that we add uh, before we take it out to the uh, assembly line. I put a sign up at least a week in advance that says mustard making such and such day, such and such time, and who's ever available or here shows up. We don't know if there's going to be six people or 16 people. I mean, it, it's just, it's amazing. You think nobody's home, and then you've got a, a good crew. You know, I, I remember starting this mustard thing thinking, now how does this relate to my ministry? I mean, you know, I'm not doing anything for people anymore. I'm just making mustard. Um, but probably in the first six months, my attitude changed a lot. Good morning. Good morning, how are you? Great, how are you this morning? Because we're in markets, because we're in shows, we are back in the public eye. People come up and they'll ask us to pray for, pray for them. They'll share their story. We're always being told that, like at markets, that they're really glad we're there. So it's, it's really, really exciting. And I just, you know, with our sisters doing as much of the work as they are, it's, it's just a really nice community thing. It's my favorite. Have a great day. Thank you. Bye -bye.